Kevin, obviously you get the spark from the lineup all throughout it tonight. Everybody in the order at least one hit, and you talked about it yesterday how you were hoping that was a jumping off point. Uh, Corey Bird's been in the starting in the top of the lineup the last couple of days. What have you seen from him in kind of catapulting this offense a bit? Yeah, he's uh, he's getting on base, which we need. Um, he's actually uh, sparking us on the defense as well, making some great plays out in center field. Um, he's had a great series out in center field against these guys. Uh, you know, he's getting on base. Uh, he's still some bags. Uh, he does it all a little bit. You know, Mackenzie Mills hasn't pitched in, in more than a week, and he comes in and he looks a lot more crisp today. Obviously, Jeff Kenley and Brett Graves continue to do what they do. Uh, with McKenzie, what did you see from him in this week in which he did not pitch that allowed him to look so strong tonight? Yeah, Millsy, uh, you know, tough down there in the bullpen, not uh, getting a chance to get out there on a consistent basis. But, you know, he came out there, threw strikes, which we need him to do, and just attacked the zone, and he did a great job for ending at third. And, and Sixto Sanchez gets his first double-A win today, and, and obviously he was able to pitch through base runners and such. This young, 20 years old, what do you see from a guy like that who's able to pitch through a little adversity successfully so far? Yeah, you know what? He, he goes out and does his thing. He's not afraid of uh, contact. He uh, pitches the contact a little bit. Uh, has some swing and miss in there, in there for sure today. Um, you know, lefties seem to see him a little bit better than the righties. Uh, you know, a couple uh, left-handers uh, squared him up pretty good. But other than that, uh, solid outing by him. Kevin, thank you so much.